Everyone, welcome to Devos with Pastor Danny. And today um, we are talking about a topic that I believe a lot of parents uh, may kind of think about. Um, it's um, how do you help your kids choose who they worship? Uh, some families in life, maybe that you interact with, or maybe you yourself say, you know what, I don't want to choose my child's religion. I want them to choose for themselves. And a lot of the um, information that I've uh, found that helps me in this devotion time was uh, by a man named Chad Bird. Um, and so I'm referencing some of the things he says. But the reality is, whether we want to or not, parents always choose their, parent, their kids' religion, um, without exception. It's just sometimes that religion operates under a different name. You see, the reality is, no matter how much we try to not do it, uh, everyone in this world is being discipled. The fact of the matter is, to whom... To, to what are they being discipled and to whom is doing the discipling? Uh, everybody's being discipled towards something. That could be in religion, in politics, in sports, in music. For example, you may drive around Knoxville with your kids listening to 80s music. Well, guess what? Either your kids are going to hate 80s music or they're going to love it. Why? Because that's what they're exposed to. You're exposing them to that. Um, you would be um, the same thing. If they love country, chances are you loved country, and so they were listening to it, or somebody that was influential in their life discipled them towards country music, for example. Um, a guy named James K.A. Smith says that through tens of thousands of ordinary daily interactions, Mom and dads orient young hearts towards uh, a vision of what this author would say is the good life, and meaning the life that they would like to see you live. Um, parents show their children what to love, what to desire, uh, what matters most in their family, and this happens both consciously but mainly unconsciously. So uh, by example, by practice, by habit, by speech, parents are saying to their children, this is the good life, whether they say it directly or indirectly. This is the way you're to live. And so really parents teach their children what to love, what to trust in, what to rely on in order to find fulfillment in life that who or, or what is their God. And we as parents lead our kids to do that, lead our grandkids to do that. We, we lead our Sunday school classes to do that. That's just kind of what happens. And so the question is not always, should you choose your child's religion? Instead, the question is, which religion are you choosing for your child? Because we're all doing it. Um, whether we want to or not. Uh, so the argument of, I just want my kids to choose their own, you're already doing it for them no matter, no matter whether you try or not. Is it Christianity? Is it another religion? Is it something else? Or are you telling them to believe in themselves or in uh, power or uh, money or entertainment? What, what are you um, telling them to believe in? Are you telling them to believe in politics? Uh, whatever it is, it's the stuff of religion. It just goes by a different name sometimes. Um, we're teaching our children, no matter what it is, uh, on how they will be fulfilled and find purpose and meaning, whether it's through Jesus, whether it's through something else or someone else. And so, you know, Here's something specifically for you Christian parents, those of you who are listening to this. If you take your kids to worship on Sunday and you spend the other six and a half days of the week um, just going around the altar of materialism and 
um, consumerism, then your kids are going to have a certain vision of what the good life is. And chances are it's not going to be um, really having a whole lot to do with following Christ. It's going to be things of this world. And, and this is not to say that we're always going to get this right. Um, you know, but the reality is a lot of times, uh, take up your cross and follow me is going to re be replaced in your children's lives by take your desires and pursue them or take your, uh, your, your wants and, and fulfill them. Uh, that, that's what we're teaching our kids uh, at times. And what we need to teach our kids is that, man, following Jesus is where the good life is at. That is where it's at. And if we love our kids, um, you know, Penn Juliet um, of Penn and Teller in Vegas says this, how much do we have to hate someone to not tell them about Jesus? If we believe there's uh, eternal life, and if we believe that Jesus forgives sins, how much would we have to hate somebody to not tell them about that awesome news? He's an atheist. Well, here's the deal. If we love our kids, wouldn't we tell them about the most awesome gift that they could receive through Jesus? Um, that's on us. That's what Jesus calls us to do. And we're going to fail at this. We're not going to get it right all the time. But you know how children can learn? They can learn where they see us blow it and we say, you know what? When I said or when I did that, I was wrong. Please forgive me. They see confession and absolution and that shows them the power of Jesus and the grace of Jesus and how we um, want to live by grace alone, by faith alone, in God's word alone. Um, and so then what we see is our kids begin for forgiving us and, and telling us how they're wrong. And it's a beautiful picture of the grace of Christ. And so we want to disciple our children on every day that ends in Y. Friends, we have 18 years in our kids' lives to, to disciple them. I mean, I'm thinking about that right now. I've got nine more summers left with my daughter before she's 18, just nine. Just nine seasons. And so I don't want to waste that time. I don't want to let her try to figure it out on her own. I want to tell her about the hope that I have in Christ. And I pray that uh, you do the same with your family. All right, well, I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Uh, we'll be praying for you all as you disciple your kids. If you need any help with that, like, hey, where do you turn? What do you do? Feel free to reach out uh, to me uh, via email, uh, Pastor Danny at visitgrace.org or on my cell phone, uh, text or call 865-469-7472. Hope you're doing well. We'll talk to you soon.